First of all, your thoughts on Matthew Stafford running the ship as the quarterback of this team? You know, everybody's excited about him. The coach uh, seems to be the most excited about him, and he's calling the plays. Uh, it remains to be seen. The thing that I like about Stafford is that if you go back and look at the, the years that he's been in the National Football League, he's been battered, he's been beat up, but he's always showed up. And for a quarterback at that position, you know, that's what you need, leadership. What does that say to a lineman that's protecting this guy when he's that tough? Well, it says a lot. It, it, it says a great deal. You know that you don't want to get him hit even if he's fragile. But you know that if you make a mistake or you have a technical problem and the guy gets blasted, just go pull him up. He's probably not going to give you the business about it. He's going to get back up and just start swinging. That's the thing that I always appreciated about the, the quarterbacks that I played with that were really good was their toughness more than anything else. Talk about how you feel as a lineman when you have a quarterback like Stafford that can improvise. Things break down, and he can still make a big play. Uh, we were just, uh, my friend Dennis and I, uh, we were just talking about that on the way in. And, you know, there's a lot to be said. We're, we're not going to be perfect. And, and for the people who have to deal with guys like Aaron Donald, you would love the thought of having a quarterback that can make plays and understood the offense so well that he could continue to make plays even when you fail. So it just gives you that much more incentive to, to work your rear end off to keep him off the ground. And if you do get beat, you know that he's going to save you and bail you out. Last couple of years, this law offensive line has dealt with a lot of injuries. Is there a rhyme or a reason to keeping a group healthy that, you know, that can stick together and then make that offense work? Well, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why you suffer injuries in the offensive line, and, 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 and certainly all of those have been a, lot of re a myriad of reasons why the injuries have occurred. I, I personally have felt that all of my career that I needed to play in the preseason. Uh, I, it, takes a, it takes a very long time for your body to get acclimated to the rigors of the sport, the pounding, and, and all the digging out and dragging you have to do. So if you can introduce your body to it in small increments of space, then more likely the likelihood of you holding up over the long haul is going to be good. So I always wanted to play a lot in the preseason, play my share in the preseason, so that my body could get conditioned for the rigors of the regular season because they weren't going to take me out in the regular season. Gotcha. Is that something you'd like to see Sean McVay implement with this group? Well, I think I've spoken about that uh, over the years long enough, but, you know, they got a way they're going to do things, and that's the way I've been working for them, so they're going to continue to do what they do. But I, I do believe that offensive line have a tendency to mesh better when they play some in the preseason and then just gradually in, increase their time, and then in the regular season you just let them roll. The run game last year averaged a little over four yards a carry. If you look at Daryl's stats and you look at Cam's stats, they actually gained about the same amount of yards. Yeah, about a yard, yeah, about a yard difference. Mm -hmm. Is 4.3 yards a carry good enough? 4.3 yards a carry is real good. I, I, I'll settle for 4.3 yards a carry as, as a run blocker. My, my thing that I want, along with that 4.3 yards a carry, is I want to serve it up consistently. I, I don't want the opportunity for some cat to sit there knowing that if he beats me once or twice in that game, that he's enhanced himself uh, financially because defensive linemen, for the most part, they, they want to get paid by getting those sacks, getting to that quarterback. So give me an opportunity to get after the guy early, beat some of that pass rush out of him, and then uh, on third downs later in the game, he's not so difficult to handle. Jared Goff, I believe, passed for a little over 4,000 yards last year. I think he was sacked 25 times. How do you or would those numbers be sufficient for this team with Matthew Stafford, or do those need, numbers need to go up in terms of passing yards and sacks down? Well, obviously, you want both of those numbers to go up. You want the passing yards to go up. You want the sacks to go down. Uh, but the, the coach here has decided how he wants to run his football team. Uh, he's decided, uh, you know, who he wants to be at the helm, and he's obviously making the decisions about who's going to be blocking for him. So, you know, we're just going to have to see how it all shakes down. Uh, you know. As, a, as, as you mentioned earlier, you know, 4.3 yards of carry, it, it can solve a lot of problems in the passing game if you consistently do that. Last question, Jackie, and I'll let you get going. Uh, do you, as, an, as a lineman, do you want to run the ball more to set up that pass, or are you okay with Matthew Stafford hopping back there, you're protecting him, and you just let him chuck it? <laughs> well, it's, it's just the nature of an offensive lineman, I believe. To want to have variety in the way he attacks his opponent because you know truly it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup there for the most part i mean 
and you want to strategically have an opportunity to make the guy defend a lot of different things. I think that was the way I thought. I don't know, maybe if you talk to Whitworth or Havenstein, they might feel totally different about it than me, and they might want to throw it 40 times a game. I, I don't know. I don't know what the mentality of these young offensive linemen are today, particularly ones with the Rams. But the way I would have preferred it was to have the opportunity to beat some of the pass rush out of these guys before I just start chucking the ball all over the field. <laughs> Okay, beautiful, my man. All right, Thank you. you. Hopefully we get yeah, I'm looking forward so. to it. I'm looking so. forward to it. I hope so. I look forward to working with you. Yes, you too. Learning from you and all that stuff. I grew up watching you.